G'day guys, welcome to today's vlog. I am on my way to the post office to get out today's sales. Sold about six items or so. So let me show you what I sold. Okay, so item number one is going out to Philadelphia. It's that vintage shirt that I picked up for a couple of dollars. It sold for $99 free shipping. Shipping is going to cost me about 24 bucks. So that works out to be like 75 bucks. It's the KMFDM Vintage 1996 t-shirt. Then we sold that Pull and Shark jacket that I picked up for maybe 5 bucks. That one sold for 50 Then we sold an $8 item from that bulk lot of women's clothes that I picked up. Just like a shirt or something. Then we sold that Rafa cycling jersey. That one went out for 55 bucks. We also sold the other jersey that we picked up. It was that Solo brand one the Saint Neath cycling jersey and then the last item going out today is a book it is that Pokemon guide book today is a thrifting kind of day everyone I've been thrifting for a few hours now and I've managed to pick up quite a few things as you can tell by the inventory that's sitting right beside me here pretty good day so far I'm gonna be heading home soon to get all this stuff listed I just really want to get in the habit of just working hard in regards to getting items, sourcing items, listing items, and just washing and repeating and just doing it over and over and over again. So that's what my plans are for the for however long, I don't know how long, but I'm just going to keep up this routine and uh, yeah, see how we go. But heading to Salvo's right now, and then I might go to a Savers after that, and then I'll go back home and get the stuff listed. So I made it back home and I've just been working on getting everything up for sale and listing all the stuff that I picked up today. Today I picked up 14 items with an average sale price of $52 per item which is really good. My goal is to have it at about $30 or more. At the moment my store is sitting at around $28 per listing this is AUD so for you guys in the states it's a lower dollar amount but with this 52 average it should grow that average amount in my entire store I spent a total of $88 on my eBay items today and I will net a resale value of about $733 if all sells for the price that I have it up listed for. So at the moment I have the drafts done for them I just have to take the photos. So I've got a heap of shoes today some Harry Potter first edition books Pants, jackets, and shirts. So let me show you the items individually as I take photos of each item. Hopefully you guys will be entertained with this video. It's just a haul video. I'm making this vlog today kind of just like a bit of a haul, showing you what I picked up and what I will be selling. I picked up two items for FBA as well, which cost me $7, and it should net me a profit after Amazon fees and everything of $53.66 in USD so that equates to about 70 Australian dollars or something like that I'll have it on the screen so that's not bad for two books it was these two books here psychology of executive coaching and international human resource management this one I'm selling in acceptable condition because it has like a mark here like a text mark and it has highlighted words right there and it also has like handwriting there as well so that's going to be acceptable. Sometimes I don't really like sending out book from Australia to the states that are in this condition because sometimes they might get returned, but I paid six bucks for it and it's a $50 book, so it is what it is. You've got to take risks in business, I guess. But without further ado, let me show you what I picked up today for eBay. So the first item to hit the white backdrop is a pair of nudie jeans. These are in a size 36 and these model ones are called the Tube Cali. I'm going to list these for $69.00. I paid $8.70 for these ones. Next item I'm getting ready to take photos of is this pretty awesome Rod and Gun Outdoor Classic jacket. Long coat, jacket, winter coat, whatever you want to call it. Size extra large. This is a pretty cool item. It's a rare find. Rod and Gun is a pretty good brand. Definitely jackets is probably the best for this brand. Shirts aren't the best in resale value. They've sort of come down over time, but this jacket needs a good clean. So instead of taking photos right now, what I'm gonna do is chuck it in the wash and get it cleaned. It has a couple of marks here. They had it as a as-is condition for like $15.25. One sold for 120. I'm gonna list it for about 99 bucks. Now guys, this next item is a Metallica piece. However, I kind of made a little fib and told a little lie when I was buying this item. When I picked it up, I was holding onto it while flicking through some other items in the thrift. And this dude came up to me, he was a customer, and he's like, is that a Metallica shirt? 
And I'm like, yeah, it's for my dad. <laughs> because, like, how's he going to believe it's a size 4 extra large that it fits me? Like, seriously, it ain't going to fit me. And I'm like, yeah, it's for my dad. I kind of lied. This item is pretty cool. It's a Metallica t-shirt. It isn't vintage. Metallica in vintage, like ACDC in vintage, is jackpot and really good sellers. This one is from 2015. It is the Ride the Lightning edition one. And to be honest, it's probably only worth like 20 bucks or so. But considering it is a 4XL, I'm going to put it up for sale for about 50 bucks and see how it goes. No guarantees there. However, I paid $8 for this one. Then I got two items of similar proportions. We got two Calibre shirts for $2.25 each. We got this one here and this one here. This is a slim fit one. This one is a tailored fit one. They both cost $2.25 each. This one's about $35 and this one's about $35. Or I've got this one for $37, this one for $35. And I've sold these in the past when I first found out about this brand in shirts for like 60 bucks a shirt. But since then, the market has fallen a little bit. 60 bucks for two shirts, that's still pretty good. But to be honest, guys, I'm really digging the flat lay photograph on the white background with the current lighting situation that I have. I have just one light, just this really bright light here. Wall light as well. I do have like two other lights like this, however, they're like broken and don't work. So when I use Manny over there and sit in front, it produces a pretty shocking shadow like beside the item and it looks really unprofessional. It doesn't get that clear white background that I really like to get. But considering the items are laying flat against the backdrop, there's no shadow because they're on it. So it works so much better. And also because I have flash on this camera. It helps with the lighting as well. So that's what I'm working with and it seems to be working well. I really like it. Next item is a super dry shirt. Brand new with tags. Probably the only reason why I picked it up. Paid 8 bucks for this one. I'm going to put it up for $40. The last clothing item I popped on today was the good old polo by Ralph Lauren. Extra large. Pretty cool looking flannel style shirt. The only reason why I picked this one up was because of its materials. So it was 51% linen and 49% silk. Both of those materials are really good in resale value with brands like this. Silk and linen is really good. So I'm going to sell this for about 45 to 50 bucks. Also the other cool thing about this, it has patches, elbow patches. So let's get stuck straight into the shoes as well that I picked up today. I was going to keep these for myself because... Because if you guys remember back on the bike tour, I lost a pair off the back of my bike. Same style as these, the Nike Free 5.0. So I thought I'd get these for myself, but I'm going to list them at the very highest end of the market. Just so they may sit around for quite a while and I'll get some use out of them. And then eventually they might sell. I do have a bit of wear at the bottom as well, but they're for me for now. I also popped on some New Balance Vibram Sole Minimalist Barefoot Style Running Shoes. These I paid $13 for. They have a resale value of about 50 to 60 bucks. I also popped on some G-Star Raw, sort of like Oxford style shoes. I paid $2.25 for these ones. I'm going to sell those for about 40 bucks. Well, I don't know if I'm going to sell them for that much, but I'm going to try anyway. I got a few pairs of dress shoes today. So these are, these are the Bailey brand ones from Switzerland. These I paid $2.25 for again. And these have a resale value anywhere in the ballpark from 50 bucks. These ones here are like $60 shoes, $50, $60 shoes. However, the brand Bailey have some shoes that are sold on eBay comps for about $300 at a max, I think, used. And then also I picked up some good old Doc Martens. I think they had 18 bucks on these, but they charged me 8 bucks and then it was 20% off. So I paid $6 for these shoes. These aren't the boots, these are just the shoes and they're women's ones. And they have a resale value of about 80 bucks or so. So we'll see how we go with those. And then, last but not least, I picked up two Harry Potter books. The only reason why I got them is because they are the first edition ones. And these have some good resale value. This one, I think, is about... 30 35 this one's about 30 to 35 but since i showed you the shoes let's get the photos done for them
just completing the listings, getting these photos uploaded, and I should be done by the end of tonight. I promised myself I'd watch a bit of footy tonight. I've been just working pretty hardcore the last couple of days, and not really indulging in watching any television or anything like that. I promised myself I'd watch the whole footy game tonight. However, it's like 9.15, so I think I've missed the whole thing. But what I might do is go watch the last quarter, wind down for the rest of the night, and maybe just chill out for an hour or so. But that is it for today's video, everyone. I am signing off. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Also, guys, if you know how to remove a marker from the bottom of a shoe, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm having some trouble trying to get this $18 off. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. And guys, just like that, you thought this vlog was over, but yet again, I have got something else to show you guys. I was editing this vlog, just about to render it and get it uploaded, and I already sold one of the Calibre shirts. I listed it for $37, and it's already gone.